All right, this will be my guide for Silent Hill 1 10 star. If you watched my previous guide on the game, which is basically just beating the game, then you might notice that my aspect ratio and resolution is a little different. That is because I am running the game in software mode. So everything is, you know, at its default, everything is completely fair to the viewer because not everybody is playing on an emulator. I have it to set the X2 resolution though, just so it looks a little better. And I will not be using any save states, so do not worry. This is all live commentary. I recommend setting a skip button to X. This is because, you know, so when you skip a cutscene with start, you don't pause the game when you exit the cutscene. That can get a little bit annoying. Here are my other settings. In case you're curious, it does not need to be this way for, uh, you know, your 10 star. Like, you don't need violet blood or anything like that, but I would recommend changing bullet adjust to X6. Funnily enough, I have ran out of bullets before on X5 bullet adjust. So, yeah, you definitely want X6. These are my practice saves right here. So, uh, let's get started. probably hear me mashing the X button just to skip this first cutscene. Cutscene. Was I dreaming? Alright. Come over here, pick up the health drink, pick this up, and pick this up. We all know the cafe by now. We just want to get out of here as fast as we can. Kitchen knife. Health drink. Let's leave. What's that? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? I recommend equipping the handgun here in this cutscene. Because you do it in the middle of this falling animation. You know, it's not interrupting any movement you're doing. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? Pocket radio? Nice. Gonna run over here, pick up these handgun bullets. We are going to run to Cafe 502 to pick up the uh, channeling stone because you need at least five extra items. I'm going to pick up all six of them just for the sake of showing where they are. But yeah, you want to come in here. You need an item count of at least 150, so pick up everything you see. We also want to have a very high kill count, so kill everything you see as well. You should, uh, all of your all of your kills until until you get the rifle should be fighting kills. There we go. So try to step on most enemies you see for the time being. You also want to make sure your hits are landing because there is a shooting requirement and need to be pretty accurate. But there is a way to cheese it, actually. You can get a very high shooting style rank. Using a neat little trick I know about. But we'll get to that later.
Right now we are collecting the keys for Eclipse. I am taking the fastest route that I know about. There's a dog over here. A groaner, I mean. Man, look at me missing shots and getting bit. I'm supposed to be the walkthrough guy. And I'm just looking like a noob right now. I can hear an air screamer over here. So I'm going to try to engage it because I want those fighting kills. I got away. You do not need to be perfect. You'll know when the enemy is dead when the static stops. That is when you know you absolutely 100% kill it. Enemies do have like a death sound, like they like squeak or something when they die, but it's not always reliable. Sometimes they're still alive, so you just want to listen for the static. If you engage with an enemy and you try to shoot it and it like gets away or doesn't die, then that's fine because as long as you hit the enemy, it is worth it. Because you need to get a high uh, shooting style, a high accuracy. Look at that guy just on my tail. And that guy is still trailing me. That's kind of that's kind of interesting. I am going to heal. There we go. And come on now. And come on. There we go. Alrighty. I'm going to heal again. Whoops. I like to run over here to grab this uh, health drink before I grab the key. Because I think it's a little bit faster that way. very valuable stuff over here. Well, if you can kill that air screamer, then it's valuable. There we go. Yeah, nice area, because you get one kill and uh, two handgun bullet packs. Might as well be 12, actually, because you have a bullet just X6 by now. I mean, you should. Just running, just running, just running. So yeah, in getting a 10 star rank, you absolutely do not need to be perfect. I don't think it's as hard as people make it out to be. I'm not doing that to humble brag or anything, I'm just being honest, like I really don't think it's that hard. The hardest part about it is the fact that you only need to save twice, because some people don't have the time to play a game for an hour straight, you know what I mean? Whoops. Come on, step on the enemy. There we go. Do not be too worried if you are missing shots. Because, like I said, we can kind of cheese the, uh, the accuracy later on. Specifically in the hospital. Come on. Over here.
when you back up when uh, shooting at a Groner, a Groner will likely miss you, which is always a fun little tip to know. Let's cross the street here because I know there are Groners over here. There we go. Over here, come on. Like I said, just just back up. Aim, back up, and the Groner will miss you. Likely, at least. Over here, come on. Yeah, he didn't want to engage. Oh, I killed him. I'm gonna run over here, because you need this. Very valuable Groners over here. We want to add them to our kill list to get that high ranking. I missed like three or four shots there. Come on. There we go. Okay, that one's dead. Take the dog key. And let's go. See, look, we already collected all the keys. Soon there will be the school, then the hospital, then the sewers, then the resort area, then nowhere. And then we'll have our 10-star rank. Doesn't sound so bad, right? valuable items over here you want to add them to your item count because you need that 10 star ranking so you know you got to collect all the items you can I'm gonna heal I would recommend turning your flashlight off here I'm only keeping it on just so the viewer can see what I'm doing Because, like, YouTube, like, crushes the black levels and stuff. It's kind of annoying. If you're not doing as good as I am, then do not worry. Come on. Ah, it got, it got away. The time limit is kind of lenient. Oops, I don't know. That's weird. I don't know what happened there. He like stumbled by ramming into a wall, I guess. I didn't stop holding the analog stick, so. There we go. There's another one over here. So, yeah, if you're not doing as good as I am. Just try to keep going with it, you know? Your first 10 star run might be a failure, but it's still good to have that because it prepares you a little more for your second attempt. I have attempted this, uh, maybe six times? And I think I've gotten the 10 star rank four times out of my six attempts. So, you know, you're not always going to get it. Again, in my opinion, the biggest thing to worry about is uh, the saves. You know, where you want to save, how you want to plan out that. It can be pretty annoying trying to have the have like the willpower to do it all in one sitting you know what I mean got to break it up into two parts and then you're like ah, do I even want to do this but it's really not so bad 
if you want to take a break, you can examine a save point. Now, do not save during the save point. You, you, you do not want to save. But time is stopped during a save point. This is the only way to stop the in-game timer that I know about. Pausing does not stop the in-game timer. Um, looking at your menu does not stop the in-game timer. Looking at your map doesn't. But examining a save point does. But the downside of this, and it's a pretty funny one, is that it's very easy to accidentally save. Like, you pick up your controller, you press X, you're like, ah, fuck. So, yeah. Uh, killed it. Again, you want to try to make all of your all, all, all of your kills as of now. You you want to try to make them fighting kills. Don't bother trying to fight anything here. Just just run past them. It is absolutely not worth trying to fight those two groaners or all those air screamers are trying to get to you too. Don't bother picking up the map. It does not count as an item for some reason. I don't know why. Health is the most valuable item you can get during a 10 star run. At least it is in Silent Hill 1. Silent Hill 2 introduces a whole new mechanic that's a pain to deal with. Five bullets. After that, kick them. So yeah, Silent Hill 2 introduces damage. In this game, you can get hit as many times as you want during during a 10-star run, and you can still get it. In Silent Hill 2, you need to like pay attention to how much you're getting hit, and it's just uh. There we go. Come on, there we go. This guy's getting up again. Come on now. Ah, uh, the, those three guys are pretty stubborn if I do say so myself. Anyway, I like to run in here for some ammo. <laughs> Another reason why I like to run in there is because there's a chance that the enemies in here will respawn. But they didn't right now, so. I'm gonna run over here for some valuable kills. Come on. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. That guy's gonna grab me, but that's okay. Come on now. That guy grabbed me again, but again, that's fine. Oh wow, this guy is very stubborn. Man. Maybe I should have let that one live. I'm going to heal. Actually, I'm going to heal again. There we go. There we go. There we go. If you want to make absolutely sure that your shot hits, then, uh, you know, shoot a little slower. Whoops. Over here. There we go. Nothing unusual. I know, Harry. Ah, I got me. some valuable ammo. Everything is valuable in a 10 star run, everything. Where is a, oh, I'm stupid, it's right there. Now I wanna go back and 
Place this medallion where it ought to be. You should know the game by now if you're watching this. Like, I shouldn't have to explain, like, what to do and how the puzzles function. There we go. Downstairs. And then into the courtyard we go. Any enemy respawns? Nope. Any enemy respawns in uh, the courtyard? There, yeah, here we go. Come on, fall. There we go. Gold medallion. In you go. Now we want to get the silver medallion. But make sure to kill everything you see along the way. But try to get it a fighting kill. So, you know, step in it to die. Five bullets, step. If you do get shooting kills and don't worry about it, that is perfectly acceptable. That is fine. There we go. Nice. Over here is a very valuable room. You get two easy kills and items. Or a item, I should say. Ah, uh, come on, come on. I'm going to heal. Whoops, there we go. Come on now. I did not show off this room as good as I could have. There we go. Now I'm going to enter this room and then exit because, from my experience, enemy respawns. There we go. Like, from my experience, a gray child in this hallway will almost always respawn if you, like, enter and then exit. There, eh, not, not anymore. Happens typically only once, but free easy kill, so. You should know the solution to this by heart at this point, so. Pick up that medallion. And let's go put it where it ought to be. Look at us, we're almost halfway through the school. Soon we'll be on our way to a 10 star rank. See, it's not so bad. Come on, there we go. Step on you. Come on. There we go. Nice fighting kills. Um, doesn't appear to be any more, so not gonna bother. I was fooled by the uh, by the larva stalker. Wait, not the larva stalker. Is it called the larva stalker? I don't know. I'm focusing on getting 10 stars right now. I don't have time to remember enemy names. I am going to heal. There we go. Very nice. Some nice fighting kills. We will be getting our shooting kills later, so just you wait for that. Something comforting to know about getting a 10-star run is that it gets easier as it goes on, in my opinion, it, it does at least. Like, the school's the hardest part, um, hospital probably the second hardest, then nowhere is probably the easiest level. I 
Enemy respawns. There we go. Very nice. You know, do what you would typically do. Just turn the boiler on and we go to the courtyard after this. Hmm, any enemy respawns over here? No, I don't hear any static. In here? Ah, what a shame. All right, let's go. Time for what is, in my opinion, the hardest part about the 10 star run, which is the other world school. At least casually, it's the hardest. So once you're done with this, it's, trust me, it gets a lot easier. It gets a lot easier. All right. We're gonna wanna run to the corner of this, whoops, you daisies. We're gonna wanna run to the corner of this room. I mean, this hallway. Because from my experience, it's just easier to deal with these guys from over here. There we go. Stepy step step. Some valuable respawns, or just one. Very nice room, this room. A lot of very easy kills to get. Very easy fighting kills. Only go down in one, on, in, in one bullet, then you step on them. Yeah. Very nice. Cards are scattered. Pick this up. Alright. This room is... Whenever I 10-star this game, I even... Like, I debate whether or not this room is even worth it. Um... You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna try. sidestep. Gonna run forward. Gonna lead them over here. Hopefully they get blocked by the chairs. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got a shooting kill and that is perfectly fine. Come over here for a health drink. Come on, there we go. All the me and call the enemies in here before you enter this area that makes them more likely to respawn. Nice. Ah, that guy snuck up on me. There we go. If you want to take a break. If you want to take a break right now, you can come into this room and examine the save point. That way time is stopped. So you don't have to worry about the in-game timer. 
But like I said, it's very easy to just accidentally save. Whoops. Whoops. I <laughs> what is up with me today? Anyway, I'd like to enter here. And then we're gonna exit. And then we're gonna run over here. There we go. Very nice items over here. I always like coming in here during a 10 star run because, uh, you know, the load screens don't even count towards in game time, so. It probably most likely is worth it. Shotgun. We will only be using the shotgun twice during this run. That is because it decreases your shooting accuracy when, every, every, every time you use it, so we want to try to use it as least as possible. As little as possible. Whenever you see me do this, that's because I'm uh, reloading my gun. So, shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. You see me do that, I'm just reloading. And here we go. You don't have to examine this door, you can just walk up to it. This is a very fun hallway to deal with. Come on. Okay. I had to shoot that uh, cockroach. Anyway, you want to re-enter the room you were just in. Because uh, you get a lot of cockroaches in here when you re-enter. It's pretty funny. Very nice, free, easy fighting kills. Whoops, see daisies. There we go. Come on. All right. Okay, now we just want to go upstairs. We want to go upstairs again. Maybe do it a little bit more smoothly than I did there. You want to examine this first because Harry won't do the puzzle if you don't examine this. There we go. And then come over here and then we just want a pink ball. Nice. This cutscene is unskippable. If you want to be really pretentious about it, you can go into your menu and equip the channeling stone. That's because there's a cutscene that plays that actually saves a little bit of in-game time. It's kind of funny. Whoopsie daisies. Nice free easy fighting kills. Just run back upstairs, well, after we kill this respawn enemy.
very nice that that guy respawned uh, twice now. That's a two free fighting kills right there. Okay. Step on you, and step on you. As you can see, the fact that Harry had to reload manually there almost ma almost messed me up a little bit. So yeah, you want to do that manually. Three nice fighting kills. There we go. Personally, I don't really keep track of my kills. Like I don't like I don't count them. Because from my experience, this route that I take like it it's pretty dang good when it comes to wanting to get all the kills you need without having to count it's uh every enemy before the rifle you want to just try to get a fighting kill after that point it's all or nothing with the rifle <laughs> okay this room is a very fun room oh boy okay let's do this Let's go, come on. Come at me. Ah, uh, step on you. Come on. Pretty sure there are five in here. Whoops. Come on. Gonna heal? Again, this is nothing to worry about, because you have more than enough time to deal with enemies like this. Man, we have a lot of champions in this building tonight. They just keep getting up like it's nothing. Very nice health drink placement right here. Unlock. Somewhere in here there is a health kit. A first aid kit, I mean. And somewhere in here, there are handgun bullets. There we go. Uh, anything in here? Ah, uh, nope. Try to use the cat classroom key on the door at the end of that hall. It's locked for some reason. He can't. Like Harry won't use it on that particular door. reload. Ah, Harry. Do what I command you to do. He just would not aim, to this, aim on this enemy, would he? Man, he's not stepping on it either. That is absolutely bizarre. I was like mashing the step button, he just wouldn't step. There we go. Come on, Harry. There we go. 
Uh, a health drink. It never hurts to pick up a health drink. Very nice hallway. Very nice hallway. Just a bunch of nice, free, and easy fighting kills. One bullet, and then step. Anyway, now we just want to go back and we want to save. Because you can use two saves. And we want to do it at the end of the school, in my opinion. Because it just seems like a very nice place to head off. And, uh, I might as well save over my practice saves. So, there we go. Let's see here, my time is 31.26 so far. If you are a little bit above that, like if your time is 35, then in my opinion you should just keep on going. And, uh, see? It's not so bad. It's not that bad at all. Alright, and we are back. Let's pick up the items in here. Here we go. Now you want to equip your shotgun. Come in here very nice room you got here. Three very close together valuable items to add to your item count. Just left twice. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, don't do that. But you get the you get the gist. It's it's left twice and then right. There we go. That wasn't so hard. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, shoot, shoot, and then bam. Don't forget to pick this up. And go back to your handgun. Alright, now we just want to run to the school while picking up the chainsaw and the rock drill. And if you want, you can also pick up the, uh, the gas tank. But you don't really have to, but, I mean, might as well. Remember, the extra items are mandatory for 10 stars. 
Except for one. You can skip one if you want. Come on, over here. Nice. There we go. I'm gonna run across the street so I can get a health drink over here. My cat is meowing, so I should probably find a save spot so I can examine it so time can be stopped and I can go see what my cat wants. <laughs> Over here. You know what, let's engage with this air screamer. Come on. There we go. Very nice health drink. There are a lot of nice, uh, Air Screamers over here. To add to your fighting kill count. Typically four to six bullets, their health varies a lot. So shoot slowly and just count how much it takes. That guy took five. You know, you don't want to shoot too much, so you accidentally kill it. Via shooting. Over here is a groaner. But more importantly, the chainsaw. Get that, yes. Well, my cat is like, my cat needs something or something. Uh, air screamer? There we go. Okay, remember when you examine a save, do not save. Just come here to, uh, you know, take a break if you want. I need to go see what my cat wants. Okay, I'm back. Remember, save spots can stop time. They can stop the in-game timer. There we go. And here is the gas tank. Don't worry too much about getting hit. Because there is not a, uh, a health requirement or anything like that in this game. You can get hit as much as you want and you can still get the 10 star ranking.
I didn't follow my own advice there, which is back up when shooting at a dog to uh, avoid it lunging at you and hitting you. So uh, it got me there. Very nice first aid kit. Way more valuable than the shotgun shells right there. Because we only use that like once or twice in this run. If it all comes the worst though, we will use the shotgun three times, maybe. And as if we run out of rifle shells, which we likely won't. Absolutely do not fight any air screamer over here. Did not pick up the map, it does not count as an item. I'm like stuck or something. Elf drink, and then here. Uh, key. And now watch this very laggy cutscene. Hell yeah. So yeah, do not fight any air screamer on this drawbridge. They have a ton of health for, for some reason, and it's just kind of funny. They also respawn a lot. It's like a trap. I'm gonna run over here because elf drinks are always worth it in my opinion. And down here, for the handgun bullets here. Okay, I got him. Probably not even worth killing those guys because of all the air screamers around. But I do like coming to the police station though. Those up. There we go. Just a lot of valuable items in here. Also, the rompers out here, they respawn a lot, so if you really want to try to get kills, then you can attempt to do it on these rompers, but I should just, I, you should just wait until you get the rifle to deal with them. Right now, we just want to make our way to the hospital. And oh boy, dealing with the groaners in here is very fun. So uh, mentally prepare yourself, have your gun ready. Let's do this. Okay, come here. Shoot. Okay, that went, oh wow, that went a lot better than it usually does. Thank goodness for that. And see, we are already at the hospital. It's not so bad, right? Don't bother picking up the map because, you know, maps don't count as an item. The first aid kit might be worth it though, where the, where the map of this area is, but the, uh, you know, the, the the map itself isn't worth it.
and uh, get the 10 star rank you gotta get the best ending so let's get the unknown liquid shall we and then run around and I hope this registers. Ah. Come on. There we go. Again, you do not have to be perfect. The basement here is very valuable. A bunch of cockroaches, which means free, easy fighting kills. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Oh wow, all three of them respond. That is very nice, very, very, very nice. Okay, you know what the gist is, second floor. Come on. <laughs> oh my. Oh my good golly gosh, there are no floors left to examine. I wonder where we could possibly go. What is this? It's a heckin' fourth floor. Alright. Time for the hospital. Luckily, it is much easier than the school. And it is also where we can uh, cheese the... Uh, the shooting accuracy requirements. This is because, and I didn't mention this yet, because I do not think trying this on the gray children is worth it, but when your flashlight is turned off, your shots will be worth more. So... See, I shot that nurse five or six times. Really, it might as well be 12 times I shot it. I go more into that on my uh, preparation guide for this game. Where I briefly talk over like what you want to know before 10 starring. I'll link that in the description. Do not forget to go into this room. There we go. Whoops. Turn my flashlight off every once in a while just so my shots count as mid-range shots. Shots. Because when you shoot up close with your flashlight off, it will not count as a short range shot, it will be a mid range shot, which are worth more accuracy wise. Very, very nice to know. In my opinion, that's probably the best thing to know when trying to 10 star this game. No respawns. That is very interesting. I usually get a lot of response there. Okay. Whoops. Fastest route is to go to the first floor. Do not bother with the second floor right now. Very valuable health drinks right here.
come on. I always could never stand how this plate of queen was placed. Like, I think it should be on the other side of the table. Just so it's a little easier to grab. Whoops, wrong way. Look at me. For some reason, I, I, I don't know why, but like, I swear I always accidentally shoot this nurse eight times. Like, I'll never play this game shooting it seven times. And it's never intentional on my part. Just, just a funny little tidbit, I guess. I even do that in my walkthrough where I shoot that nurse eight times. And I'm like, if you shoot it seven times, you, you you can save a bullet by kicking it while it's down. Anyway, just uh, just run upstairs. Now we want to deal with the second floor. All right, run over here, because there's our nurse over here. It, it it doesn't really matter if you accidentally kill them. Like you'll probably have enough fighting kills by the end anyway. So yeah, um, don't don't worry too much if you're accidentally just killing them. Anyway, the hitbox for this is huge. Actually, I'm going to show this off. You can use this uh, pack from like way over here and it will register. So yeah, that's a very nice thing to know. There's that. Any, any response? Yes, this one did. Anyway, come in here. We need this. The lighter is probably the easiest item to forget in the hospital. Alright. Up left. Down right. Basically just draw an X here. And you'll get him. Up right. And finally... Down left. Remember, close range shots are worth mid range shots when your flashlight is off. It's just so nice to know that. Okay, I like to position myself on this grate here. There we go. You don't want to overshoot, so you want to wait till they're going down. You know, when it, you want to, want to count your shots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, I know most of these nurses will just die in eight hits, so I try to count seven. That one took seven as well. More respawns, very nice. Three.
very valuable first aid kit in here. Now we want to go to the basement and get all the delicious kills down here because you got to add them to your rank in order to get a 10 star ranking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, try not to accidentally get kill them by a bullet. But if that does happen, then it's not too big of a deal. Ah, oh, come on, Harry. Harry, no! There we go. Come on. Probably one of the quirkiest rooms in the entire game right here. Like, I don't think there's any good way to go about it. Oh wow, both respawns. Respawn, I mean. Very valuable respawns. We are going to skip those uh, shotgun shells for now because it's faster to pick them up on our way out. Okay, I'm gonna heal. took three try not to overshoot the blue ones the blue nurses sometimes they have very little health the blue ones okay you want to run all the way whoops we want to run all the way to the other end of the hallway here. Because from my experience, dealing with those nurses, like, at the other ed edge of this hallway is just not worth it. There we go. Yeah, like, trying to fight those nurses, like, right here, just kind of a pain in the ass. We don't need this, but it is an item, so we might as well add it to our item count. Oh, and two respawns. Nice, actually. That's very nice. Gonna run to the other end of the hallway. And, ah, that nurse got me. What a, what a shame. Uh, I'm not gonna heal, actually. I'm very surprised that that slash didn't put me on a orange health. Or, or yellow. Again, you do not have to be perfect. If you run into these sorts of situations where you're just, you know, dealing with enemies and you don't know if your time is going to be good enough because you don't know how long you've been dealing with the enemies for, then you should just keep going with it, you know? The game gives you an hour and 30 minutes, which is more than enough time, in my opinion. What's this? Whoopsie daisies. 
Come on, Harry, turn around. Look at me fail one of the easiest rooms in the entire game. And no respawns in here, it seems. Come on. Now we want to pick up these shotgun shells. It's just faster to do it that way. I don't really bother picking up the hammer on uh, 10 star runs. This male nurse will sometimes respawn, so I like to exit and then re-enter. And uh, he didn't this time, but never hurts to check. Was I dreaming? Do not forget this key. If you want to take a break, then there's a save point right there. But remember, do not save, only examine it. Because time is stopped on save screens. Right here. Anyway, we just beat the hospital. See, it's not so bad. Getting 10 stars. We're basically halfway through already. And so, sometimes I don't really know what to say when live commentating. I'm just, I'm just playing the game, getting ten stars. Uh, in the description, I'm going to link the uh, the ten star world record run. It's a very interesting watch, and it's done way differently than from how I'm doing it. Okay. Don't bother with these air screamers. That one had like a million billion health. Okay, I'm going to uh, heal. Soon, guys. Soon. We are approaching rifle territory. We never use the axe, it's just very close, so we pick it up. Okay. It's almost time. For rifle time. Okay, the rompers out here aren't really worth it, but I'm going to try anyway. Okay. Come on. All right. Well, I tried and hopefully that's enough to Hopefully trying is good enough in this type of moment. Ow. 
Actually, I really should heal twice. I should be I should be on green. Man, I oh this is kind of funny. Look at this. All right, we are not gonna bother, or I'm not gonna bother. You do not have to be perfect, and I think that just goes to show that you don't have to be perfect because I'm still pretty confident that I'm gonna get ten stars at the end of this. So yeah, wait, actually, maybe the rompers aren't gonna be near there if I uh re exit. Maybe it'll just be the uh the worm heads. Uh oh, I was right. There we go. That is very nice. Because I know that the enemies have like set set like spawning locations. So the rompers would be back near the uh, the the antique shop and the worm heads would be near this place that I'm in currently. So yeah, you do not need to be perfect. Do not worry. There we go. And very, very valuable items right there. On top of health, rifle shells are probably the most important thing you want to pick up. Okay, I, th there's a consistent technique I like to try out. It's a step backwards twice and then run forward. Typically that makes him run across this. And uh, okay, it, it didn't work right now, but you know, sometimes it does. You wanna be on this grate so it runs across. There we go. Rifle. That is the last you'll see of every other weapon. From this part forward, we are going to use nothing but the rifle. Unless we run out of rifle bullets. Shells, I mean. Okay, as soon as you exit here, there should be a uh, a night flutter. So just hold. There we go. Okay, this is where it gets easy. Trust me. The hard part is over. Right now, we want to make it to the police station. You can get rifle shots from very far away, and it will likely hit. It's just the accuracy is so high. Anymore? Listen for the static. You definitely want to be wearing headphones so you can hear where the static is coming from. And then when you hear static you, in a certain direction, you want to run towards it. So you can hunt it so you can hunt down these enemies to get these uh, shooting kills. Is this one still alive? Here we go. You definitely want to come in here. Because there are more rifle shells. 
There we go. It's just very nice. If you want to take a break, you can examine that save pad. But, but like I keep on saying, remember, don't accidentally save. I cannot stress that enough. I know from personal experience that it is very easy to just accidentally save the game on that screen. There are going to be a lot of night flutters over here. I will try to deal with them. Ah, uh, come on. Is this one still alive? Oh wow, that one is still alive. Wow, I thought the static that was coming off of this Night Flutter was like on the Night Flutter over there. Man, I was duped. Okay. Huh, I guess I didn't kill that one. Skip, skip, skip the cutscene. And then run back. Now we gotta deal with the float stinger. Remember, you want to wait between each shot so you're not hitting Float Stinger during its uh, invincibility frames. A good way to judge when its invincibility frames are up is, is uh, its blood. So, see, its purple blood disappeared. The blood disappeared now, so I can shoot again. The blood disappeared, so I can shoot again. See, that's a good way to judge, like, if you're. Like, when its invincibility frames are up. Checking my health there. Float Stinger is probably the most likely place to die in this game. But if you do die in Float Stinger, do not worry. You just load a continue. You can use one continue, and I am almost certain that the developers did that just for Float Stinger in case you die during a 10 star run. So. That's nice of them. That continue will start you right off at the uh, the hospital gates just before the boss fight starts. I think my cat is scratching under my door again. I, I might need to examine a save state just to <laughs> just to see what he wants but the next save state isn't for a while so I mean save point isn't for a while so oh well kitty ah but remember and I cannot stress this enough do not accidentally save when looking at a save state I mean save save spot so you can pause your time because you'll get a good laugh out of it and everybody will get a good laugh out of it but it won't be funny because it, it, it is the only way to pause the timer 
in Silent Hill 2, to pause the in-game timer, you just need to pause the game. Like, that's all you have to do. Just just pause, and time is stopped. But in Silent Hill 1, no, you got you got to examine a save spot. And then you pick up your controller, and then you accidentally push the X button, and then you save, and you're like, ah, what a shame. Okay. Uh, the hang scratchers will always, always without fail, go down in two hunting rifle shots. Two is all you need. I'm gonna run over here for a very, very valuable rifle shells. If you can, pick up every single rifle shell in the game. I'm being dead serious. Come on. There we go. Anyway, we're already at the sewer. See, getting 10 stars is not that bad. It is not that bad at all. I hear one somewhere. I... Okay, I can't find it. There's a save spot right there. Do not accidentally save. You can take a break if, if you want by examining it. Two. Wait a minute, I, I guess I missed. But it will always take two shots, trust me. I would like to meet the hang scratcher that goes down in only three hunting rifle shots. <clears throat> because I have yet to meet him. Look at me going the wrong way. Oh, the funny thing is, is I actually go that way in my walkthrough too. I like completely run the wrong way. And I make some stupid excuse like, uh, I'm running over here just so I can fight the enemy because I want to fight the enemy just to show it off. But no, it was totally a mistake. Stop scratching at my door, kitty. Uh, are there any over here? No. Oh, wait, yes, there are. I knew my memory was telling me something. I think my, uh, the sound gate on my microphone, I, like, I think it prevents the, it, 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 like, prevents you from hearing background noises, so you probably can't hear my cat right now. Okay. Very nice. Reginald. My cat's name is Reginald, by the way. So yeah, just run down this hallway. You don't gotta do anything fancy. Trust me, the, the school is over. So, you know, our biggest worries are over because the school is the hardest part of a 10-star run. Like, once you get the rifle, it just kind of becomes easy. Come on, pick this up. I am going to heal. Two shots. It will always take two shots. If it takes three shots, then it's not worth it. I mean, it is worth it, but... Do I need to heal again? Might as well. Uh, 
Okay, dealing with these hang scratchers is uh, quite the ordeal, so I'm just going to show you how I do it. Personally, I like to run to the back of the uh, of the hallway we're in. And then I like to turn around here, and then I like to kill them off one by one. So I killed off that one, and now I'm going to aim on this one. There we go. And then I'm going to shoot that one. Kitty. I'm sorry, I can't save my game right now. Very often do the hang scratchers in here respawn. So it does not hurt to come back and check just to make sure you can get even more kills. I did not get any respawns, but you know, it really does not hurt to check. Oh wait, wrong spot, wrong spot. Later on in, in, in a different sewer, when there's a bang, you uh it'll it'll spawn a hang scratcher. Okay, this is a fun area. Come on, Harry. C Harry, come on now. I was trying to aim for the one that was right that I, I, I was trying to aim for the one that was like approaching him and then die oh wow it respawned actually I'm gonna go back and kill it again and oh wow it actually respawned again Wow, I'm getting pretty lucky, actually. Okay. I am going to see what my cat wants. Okay, I'm back. Okay, now I want to do the Kaufman side quest. Because we gotta get the best ending and get those 10 stars. The controller's rumbling a lot. What health am I on? Uh, yeah, I might as well heal. You're probably thinking I'm low on uh, health drinks, but that's okay because I have a lot of first aid kits, so it's fine. I also have three ampules. I'm gonna grab the map, even though maps don't count as items. I'm gonna grab it because, you know, it, it really never hurts to have the map here because there are a lot of enemies around and, you know, sometimes you'll get distracted like trying to hunt down an enemy that like ran away from you and like it'll take you off your path and you'll be lost. Here we go. And there's one over here. Oh, wait, there's another one somewhere. Oh, this one's still alive. There we go. Okay, we want the Kaufman key. So it's actually faster to do the side quest by running through the park. But I'm going to run along the side of this building for the side quest instead. Mostly because it's easier to follow. Come on now. What's my health right now? All right, I'm fine.
You can wear headphones and put the sound in stereo mode so you can follow the static around. And we just want to run along here. So we can fight this air screamer. Whoops. Where'd it, where'd it go? It sounds close. Oh. Oh, it was like right above me. Okay, the, the door is over there, but there's a romper over here. I can hear it, so... And I, okay, I can hear another romper. There it is. Okay, now I'm going to go back to uh, this door to put in the code, which is 0886. And magnet. Magnet. Now we just want to go over here. And then over here. Come on, Harry. And then over here. I'm going to run here for a health drink. Very nice. Now we just want to run back. Basically just to the Kaufman side quest. There's nothing fancy about it. There's a health drink over here though. And, all right, let's reposition ourselves. There we go. And that's all there is to do here. Tends to be a lot of groaners over here, so I like to come over here just so I can kill them. There's also rifle shells somewhere over here, I think. I get every single item in my walkthrough, so I should know where rifle shells are. There we go. Gonna heal? Uh, is this one of those moments where the air screamers are like invincible and stuff? Probably, I'm not gonna bother. Okay, you want to run over here because there are items over here. Add to our 150 item count. Mostly we want this health drink. Because health drinks are very valuable in 10 star runs. Come on, Harry. Examine the bird. The heckin' pterodactyl. Examine it. I mean, lock onto it, not examine it. Might as well kick that one. Doesn't hurt. Let's 
listen for, uh, you know, static. So yes, listen for the static. And you want to go to an enemy when you hear the static. Like I hear one, like I hear some static over here somewhere. Um Yeah, right here. Oh, and I hear more too. Uh somewhere around here, right here. So yeah, sound is very valuable in getting a 10 star rank. And see, I looked at my map there because I was busy searching for enemies to kill. Wait, did that hit it? Nah. And hold on, wait, I hear, I hear more static. Did this romper respawned. Nice. You do not have to be perfect. You do not have to be perfect. I'm going to heal. There's a save pad there if you want to uh, if you want to examine it so you can stop the in-game timer to temporarily take a break. Come on, Harry, pick up, pick pick this up, Harry. Come on. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, man. This part's really intense. Do I need to heal already? Because, like, I... It's very hard to... Lock on to the Night Flutters... In this area... When there are so many... Um, I just... Just shot a bullet for no reason. When there are so many rompers around, because Harry will just lock onto the romper instead. one of those was, were still alive because there's so much static in this area from so many enemies but they do make very valuable kills to add to your kill count all right that one flew away Man, this area is so laggy. Alright. Alright. Now we just want to go up the lighthouse. Just up and left. Just up and left. Or you can strafe. There you go. That's what strafing looks like up those stairs. And this cutscene, um, just hold L1. Just hold L1. And he will run back down the stairs. Square in L1, I mean, because you, know, you gotta be running. 
have my run walk set to reverse, so. Okay. Very nice uh, worm head to kill out here. So. Wait, what? Oh, goodness. Alright. I guess that's what happens when you hold this camera button in, in there, there. I hear more static from somewhere. There we go. Okay. Now we are going to go to the second sewer. Which has uh, mumblers. This is the only place in the game that has mumblers, weirdly enough. At least in the American version. It does not hurt to listen for static so you can track down those enemies that you want to get your kills from. Oh wow, okay, I can't, I, okay, come on Harry, come on. I shot that one like four times and it didn't go down. It probably wasn't gonna go down anytime soon, so. Okay, before I do up the sewer, I'm going to check my health. Okay. Stop. Two shots, that's all it takes. If it takes three shots, then don't even bother. I mean, I'm just joking. You do want to kill it. It's just... I've seriously never seen one go down in three shots. There was one earlier that looked like it took four bullets, but that was only because uh, I missed two of them. Alright. Okay. Come on, ex examine the mumbler, Harry. Ah. <sighs> Honestly, okay, you know what? The mumblers are not worth it. Mumblers are just not worth it. Because they take too many rifle shots. Ah. I'm gonna heal. Okay, now... Okay, so... Most sources say that you should heal... Wait, not heal, I mean. That, that your second save should be before Incubus? Right before the final boss? I completely disagree with that. I think your second save should be before Sybil. So... That's where I'm going. That I'm going to save here. Alright, we are back. Now, as you notice, uh, my time is 1.23.45 at this point, which is funny because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, you might be thinking that we don't have enough time, but we do. De we, we definitely have enough time. As long as we just run through nowhere without killing any enemies, we should be fine. And, you know, we've been... Spending this whole time just getting up all those kill counts, you know what I mean? We've been we've been going 
out of our way to kill a lot of enemies, so we should be more than fine. Civil and a Glophitus. Want to skip these cutscenes? I know no I know nowhere like the back of my hand at this point. So I can just run through it very quickly. You can follow the route I'm taking, and it is what I know to be the fastest route through nowhere. Whoopsie daisies. of Ophiel just run out. Now we want to go in here. Okay. This is six. Eight. And four. And then Amulet of Salomon. If you want, you can stop and kill the enemies. Oh, shoot. We want to come in here. All right. Keep Haggith, so over here. Backwards L, triangle, and an arrow pointing down left. Bird cage key.
Okay. Pick that up. Rifle shells. Oops. We already have enough items at this point, so really no reason to uh, go for those handgun bullets unless you really want to. of Bethor. Gonna get this health drink over here. Alright. We want to get this onk. Come on. There we go. And we want to just use this here. Yes, take the... Okay, don't examine that again, Harry. There's no point in doing that. And quick turn. There we go. Now let's go get that key. Come on. Come on. There we go. I'm going to heal. Okay, come on. Very nice. Just want to go back to the basement. This. This. And then this. Come on. And then this. And then this. Alrighty. Alrighty. 
Okay, if you have the items, just brute force this boss fight. When you get hit by lightning, heal. It's taking a while to load, actually. There we go, it's, it's, it's loading. So I'm gonna heal. Gonna heal again. And now you gotta wait for this cutscene to end because this is unskippable. Daddy. Interestingly, though, you can skip the uh, you can skip the part where Lisa drags Kaufman down. I don't know if I made any major mistakes. I mean, I did make mistakes, but I think that just goes to show that you don't have to be perfect. I probably got really close to one hour and 30 minutes. This cutscene is really laggy. There we go, the frame rate is smoother now. And we can skip these cutscenes, I mean credits. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. See, that is not so bad. Um, one hour, 29 minutes, 38 seconds. Um, that's game clear eight good plus two saves continues to uh, 174 items 166 killed by fighting oh my god <laughs> that's just 166 enemies killed by fighting um yeah So, as long as you don't save over your next fear game, 
Like, as long as you never save over this, you will always have the green hyper blaster. So yeah, if you, uh, you know, if you beat the game again and it asks you to save your results and you say yes and then you save over your new fear, it will lower your, uh, your hyper blaster power and you won't have the green one anymore, sadly. So yeah, that was that. I honestly didn't really- sorry I didn't talk much at the end there, I really didn't know what to say because I thought I said everything that I, ha that I had to say. You know? Um... I showed the fastest route through nowhere. Because I kinda had to. My time wasn't very good because I was busy like explaining stuff. But, but yeah. Thank you for watching.